we knew that in order for Midnight Interlude to even qualify, he was going to have to win the race. And even though we, we thought he had a, a shot. Midnight Interlude! Midnight Interlude! Go to the It's still a shock when he actually did it. We're just honored that we'd have a, a horse that would qualify to go into the uh, Kentucky Derby. Arnold Zetcher has had a successful career in the retail business, but his emergence into horse racing was anything but easy. In 2001, he purchased his first racehorse, Spainbird. Determined to see his first win as a thoroughbred owner, Zetcher and his wife Ellen flew to Los Angeles for each start. We were living in Boston. He ran uh, 16 times before he broke his maiden. I came out here for every one of the races. I wanted to make sure I was there for our first win. And as it turned out, our first win was uh, Gabrielina Jaw, who was the second horse that we owned and ended up uh, being a stakes win on our first win. Here comes Gabrielina Jaw to run up and take over the lead and win the Manhattan Beach. Since retiring four years ago, Zetcher has immersed himself into the game, from breeding to racing. Another part of the game he and his wife enjoy is the naming of their horses. We do them together. We usually uh, go out to dinner and have a list and, and, and start working through it. And we came up with uh, Midnight Interlude. And what's the story behind Midnight Interlude's name? Well, Ellen says that uh, what we should answer that question, uh, use your imagination. <laughs> but, but we actually, the, the Midnight is from the Mother Midnight Kiss, and uh, the Interlude was from War Chant. We thought Interlude was really a nice play on, the, on, on War Chant. You think about him the second you wake up every morning? Uh, pretty much when I go to sleep at night and, and when I wake up in the morning. And, and uh, usually you wake up in the morning, Ellen says, have you found out how he did this morning? We sure like Midnight Interlude. And now the Zetchers will be watching their homebred run in their first Kentucky Derby. My feeling about getting into the big races is you feel you have a contender, you should do it, but if you're just getting in to get in, it's not something we're that interested in doing. Zetcher's battle cry has worked out quite well. Richard's kid was 24 to 1 in the 2009 Pacific Classic. Richard's kid gonna cause a shocker. Richard's kid, Einstein, Richard's kid. Midnight interlude could go off upwards of 15 to 1 in the Derby, but Zetcher likes his chances. First, we have Bob Baffert, so that's a pretty good start. And then second, we have Victor Espinoza, who is experienced at doing this and couldn't be happier having him. And third, we have Midnight Interlude, and he's shown that he belongs in the race. But we also know with 20 horses in there, the trip is really important. In 2002, Baffert and Espinosa teamed up to win the Derby. War Emblem has won the Derby in front running fashion. A beautiful ride there by Victor Espinosa, trained by the Ebullion Bob Baffert. Yeah, we are nervous, you know, but we're, we kind of tell ourselves just be happy that you're there and enjoy the, the ride getting there. Uh, and if something great happens, that's great, but we're just, we're just happy to be a part of it. The one thing the Zetras won't be doing is thinking about what it would be like to win America's most famous race. No, we don't even think of it. She won't let me think of it. <laughs>